In this experiment, we'll carry out several steps to complete the conventional polymerase chain reaction PCR, using 3D Biology Virtual Lab from Praxi Labs. Log in to your Praxi Labs account using your username and password, and then go to the lab to conduct the experiment. If you're watching this video on our YouTube channel, please make sure you subscribe first and activate the notification bell to get our new videos regularly. The goal of the PCR experiment is to amplify a targeted part of the DNA to a size that may reach up to 10,000 nucleotides, which will allow getting millions of copies of the targeted DNA stand in a short time. For this, PCR has gained popularity for a wide range of applications, such as the detection and analysis of some dangerous viruses such as COVID-19. Also, molecular biologists use PCR in gene cloning and DNA sequencing, and forensic scientists use PCR to connect blood, saliva, or tissue left at the scene of a crime to a suspect or victim. The Virtual Biology Lab from Praxi Labs provides you with an interesting interactive experience where you'll be able to conduct the experiment through 3D simulation that includes all the devices, tools, and materials used in the biological laboratories. Let's start the experiment. The PCR experiment is divided into three main steps. First step, prepare an amount of the master mix sufficient to six samples of the DNA by adding the special reagents for the experiment in the master mix tube. 243 microliters of distilled water. Thirty microliters of the 10x PCR buffer containing MgCi2. Six microliters of the 10 millimeters DNTPs. Six microliters of the forward primer. Six microliters of the reverse primer. Three microliters of the TAC DNA polymerase. Second step, add 49 microliters of the master mix you just prepared to one microliter of each DNA sample. Third step, place the Eppendorfs in the thermal cycler. Then adjust the settings as following. Initialization denaturation stage at 94 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes for one cycle. Multiplication cycles stage, which is divided into denaturization step at 94 degrees Celsius for 30 seconds, 30 cycles. Annealing step at 50 to 65 degrees Celsius for 30 seconds, 30 cycles. Elongation step at 72 degrees Celsius for 1 minute, 30 cycles. Final elongation at 72 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes for one cycle. 
the final hold at 4 degrees Celsius for an indefinite time for one cycle. If you like the video, share it with your friends and leave a comment.